Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be unboxing and taking our first look at the Varla Pegasus electric scooter. This is Varla's second e-scooter. The first one was the Eagle one, which we reviewed in the past. We'll leave a card to those reviews up right here, but that electric scooter was made specifically for off-roading. The Varla Pegasus serves to a different demographic as this electric scooter is specifically made for city commuting. So to jump straight into the unboxing, the Varla Pegasus came very well packaged, just as you'd expect from any sort of Varla product. It came very well wrapped in foam to ensure that it would arrive undamaged. Taking the scooter out of the main packaging was a little bit difficult as the scooter is both awkward and very heavy to carry, but we managed to do it in the end. Under the main scooter, inside of the main box, there's an additional cardboard box which contains all of the accessories included with the Varla Pegasus. Varla actually sent the Pegasus with a ton of accessories which is super nice because it already comes with everything that you could possibly need to get the scooter up and running and future maintenance. So included are an instruction manual with a photo of what the locking mechanism should look like when locked. There's also a spare bag of hardware and some pins. They included a bike lock, which is actually a pretty nice bike lock. It's made of chain and has two keys, meaning that you'll be able to lock up your Pegasus securely should you need to leave it somewhere outside while going into a building. They also have their generic Allen key hex tool slash repair tool, which basically works to repair anything on the scooter. They have a spare kickstand, which is an interesting touch that I was not expecting to see at all. And then finally, they have the charger, which is a very similar charger to that used on the Varley Eagle one. It's one of those 3-pin XLR connectors. Now that we've done a short unboxing, we're going to go into the setup of the scooter to get it up and running. So like I said earlier, there's a ton of foam protecting this scooter. As you can see right here, it's an absolute puzzle to get all of the foam pieces off and get the scooter up and connected properly. So the first thing is basically to remove the foam so you can put the stem of the scooter up. Varla included a picture of what the locking mechanism should look like if it's clipped into place properly. It's pretty self-explanatory, just make sure that the clip is properly pinned into place. There should be a popping, clicking, locking sound once you flip it up into that little hole and it's fully clamped in. And then basically just use the Velcro strap as a little safety over it just to make sure that if any vibrations were to knock it loose, it can't fall all the way down and cause the stem to be able to bend. The handlebars of the scooter are also not mounted when you receive the scooter. They're pretty easy to mount. There's a clamp on the top of the stem that basically just gets undone using the two bolts on top. Fortunately, they have that multi-hex tool, which can be used to assemble this entire scooter so you can get it up and running. Basically, just undo those two bolts on the top. The clampy piece will be able to detach. And then the handlebars fit perfectly in that slot. And then you can put the clamp piece back on top and tighten it down using the allen keys once again and the handlebars will be mounted. The main cable also has to be plugged in. This is the one that goes from the LCD screen to whatever is powering it. It's just a simple connector, only one way that you can plug it in. And that's really the only electronic plug-in that you have to do to get the scooter up and running. Another thing that we made sure to tighten was the actual screen. A lot of the components on the handlebars do come loose, so just make sure to tighten them using that allen key hex tool so they don't spin on the handlebars and they're locked into place. And just like that, the scooter is ready to ride. All that's left is to power it on and test it out. Now we are quickly going to go over all of the physical specs with the Varla Pegasus. Starting with the geometry, the Varla Pegasus is 49.4 inches long, 49.6 inches tall, and has a handlebar length of 20.8 inches. The deck available for standing is 19.7 inches long and 6.7 inches wide. The frame of the Pegasus is made from an aluminum and magnesium alloy. The wheels also have independent suspension, meaning that there's a shock absorber on both the front and back wheels for an ultimately comfortable ride. Each wheel also has its own disc brake for maximum control over the scooter at all times. The Varla Pegasus uses a 48 volt 15.6 amp hour 748 watt hour battery pack. The motors are dual 500 watt hub motors, one in the front, one in the rear. Speaking of the wheels, the Varla Pegasus uses solid tires as opposed to pneumatic tires, meaning you'll never have to worry about a flat again. These tires are 8 inches, so they're not that big in diameter, but they're 3.5 inches wide, meaning they're extremely thick. As for interface with the scooter, the scooter is powered using a thumb throttle and all of the useful data and information 
is present on the LCD display on the center of the handlebars. Some other really cool features about this scooter include the locking mechanism, which enables you to fold down the stem of the scooter and carry it with ease. There's also a carrying hook on the deck of the scooter, which enables you to clip that stem down into the hook so that the entire scooter can be held onto by the stem when being carried. Finally, there are some lights built into the scooter that can be controlled via the LCD interface. That concludes our unboxing and our initial look at the Varla Pegasus electric scooter. We are going to be making a part 2 for the Varla Pegasus where we fully review this electric scooter, testing all of its specs and letting you guys know whether this is a scooter worth buying if you're interested in a commuter scooter. If you guys are interested in learning more about the Varla Pegasus, we will leave a link down in the description below. If you guys enjoyed the video and you made it this far, please consider leaving us a like and subscribing to this channel for lots of other electric vehicle reviews and DIY electric vehicle builds. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next video.